What's up Cubers, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Rubik's Connected. So as you can see it connects to this um, iPad, it connects to phones, everything, and it's a smart cube. So the times I do, wait, uh, the times I do on this appear on the screen, which is really clever and this cube is awesome. Before I start I am just going to quickly say a few things about the cube. It is magnetic, the magnets are actually very strong. It's quite heavy, I will put size and weight and like specs at the end. It did come lubricated and it's corner cutting is line to line. That's pretty much all it can do. Um, and then reverse, it's pretty good. I've only encountered one issue with the app so far. Um, I will put a picture on. All that happened was the cube got a bit mushed up on the screen, but that's it. The app's really good, the cube's really good. Let's get started. Okay, so heading over to the solo um, mode, I guess. It gives you a scramble, so let me do the scramble. Uh, I can't even... I'm really, really bad at scrambling sometimes. And I'm not warmed up to it, so it gives you 15 seconds to inspect. I'm gonna see if I can stand this up. Okay, so you have 15 seconds to inspect the cube and try and find a solution. Uh, this is gonna be such a bad solve. Ah, what? I am not warmed up at all. The the color shades on this cube are very very nice. Um, unless you're cubing where there isn't much light. I haven't had a problem with telling colours apart. Um, the weight doesn't really... Okay, 20 seconds, not bad. The weight doesn't really do anything in your soles. And it comes with a charger, I think. Yeah, it's in my box at the moment. But you plug it into the yellow side. I don't know if I can get close enough. Will that is it going out of focus? But there are pins in there that you plug it into. So that's it for the solo mode. I'm only, I'm going to go over all of them, so I'm going to do it quickly. And then you have Pro Cuba, where you play matches against other people. So I'm going to try Expert, even though I'm not warmed up. This could go horribly wrong. So that's what I have. My name is my YouTube channel, my Cubaverse. You should subscribe if you aren't already. And let's see who it pairs us up with. So sometimes it pairs you up with an AI. Sometimes it's with a real person. Okay, so it's paired, off, paired us with someone called Awesome, and then we have uh, 20 seconds to scramble. This is an AI, by the way. Uh, they're pre it's pretty easy to tell who's an AI and who isn't. So now you have 15 seconds to inspect. You're not allowed to start before the 15 seconds, or the other person will win the match. Um, oh, these scrambles have been so good. Alright, you know what? Let's just hope. Two, one go uh, like I said I'm not warmed up at all I've just come off the PlayStation so my hands are very not ready for cubing if that makes sense um, uh, 24 I mean I still won not that bad so that's the pro cuber you just race other people um, I'll go over the stats in a second, and then you also have scrambling, where, what is a scrambling contest? Scrambling is usually what you do before a contest, but we took it to the next level and made it the contest, contest, that's such a hard word to say, itself, how fast can you follow the moves, got it, okay, let's go, alright, yeah, wait less. start off with beginners, and then it tells you to shuffle the cube, so, scramble the cube, and then, strong place to keep on a flat surface so you leave it and then it pairs you up with a pad okay so it's found us a match um so you can see there's little rockets down here it'll be um oh it's a set of moves and you just have to follow and these moves will solve the cube this tps is awful um but i still won i they are on move number one yeah two tps 2.875 not brilliant uh let me show you just quickly let me do another solo so i can show you the stats 
um, because that's pretty awesome. It also, if you mess up the move and do the wrong move, it shows you, like just then, wrong move, follow to fix, and then you do it, and then you do the move, which I think is a nice touch for people who don't know how to, or aren't very confident with algorithms, or move notation. Um, some of these solves have been awful. Oh, wait, what? Okay. Round of applause for bad solve number... Oh, wait, it might actually be sub-20. Oh, he got sub-20. Okay, so you go to more stats. Turns per second, 4.26. The method, not the alg. See for... Wait, can you see it from there? Let me move it a bit closer. So it has my turns per second... Uh, the method I use CFOP, the, the amount of rotations or turns I did, 84. Um, my cross took me 5.63 seconds. F2L, 13.76, that's average. Oh, wait, no, I, this is, like, when I did it by, so... Oh, wow, my transitions was... Oh, wow. Uh, total idle time, 0 seconds. Not bad, that means not many pauses. Um... Yeah, I'd say that's a pretty good solve. And then if you go to advanced, my cross was 22 moves. But it was an X cross, so my first pair was done. First pair, 12 moves, 7, 13, and then OLL and PLL were both 15 moves. Um, that shows you how many moves each step was. The time it took me in a nice little pie chart and the scramble. Plus the rotation log, so it shows me, I think, the turns per second I did for each step and what I did to solve it. My active time, I don't yet know what this means. Rotations, um, like each of the moves and how many times I did it. So I did a lot of U and U prime moves, but not many D or R moves. Wow, that's crazy. So anyways, that's it for stats, uh, main menu. Challenge, I didn't, or re-scramble, I didn't really like that. It gives you like a pattern or a scramble and you have to replicate it on your cube, but I'm not very good at it. So then you have quick timer, which is when your cube is scrambled and you just want to time yourself, like that. So to start the timer, rotate any of the faces. Um, that's quite cool if, you're if your cube is scrambled and you just want to do it. Uh, the Red Bull Rubik's, which is finished now. Let me bring it closer again. Solver, which is if your cube is scrambled, it gives you a set of moves. So let me show you. Let me put it back there a second. Scramble the cube. Stat. Oh, wait, no. Um... Solver. Okay, and then... Wait, let me turn the animation off. I don't need it. So then you do that set of moves, and it solves your cube. So if, like, you don't know how to solve it, but you know cube notation, you could use that. Finally, we'll move on to stats. Uh, th I actually have better times on my phone. My PB on my phone is 14 seconds, but for some reason they're not linked. Um... Average of my last five solves, haven't done them. Average solve time, 21, because I've got like, a 23 and an 18. Average moves, average TPS, um, my games, wins, rank, and times for the each of the game modes. Uh, some charts for my times, my moves, the time I spent idle, doing nothing, and my TPS, or turns per second. And then solve history, which goes over all my solves. So, now... Oh, I don't like this, but... Oh, and let me go back up. Oh, there we go. Okay, so now going back to the home, you have some really, really fun games. So you have Cubicizer. Uh, where's the volume? Gonna need the volume turned up for this one. Okay, so... Um, it gives you like, a set of moves. So this is R, U prime, U, U prime, R, R, R. And then a song, it's like a little piano, so... So you can play a song. I don't know how well you can hear it. Let me turn it off a bit more. Also, in the top corner is this little battery icon. So that shows how much um, battery the cube has got. So you can do it on guitar. You can play Ode to Joy, Mary Had a Little Lamb, and Happy Birthday. So let's do Happy Birthday. Wait, I need to do it on guitar. Okay. Wait, what? Ah... Uh... I'm doing it too fast. Happy birthday is really hard. Okay, last try. So yeah, it's fun 
same as your thing. Um, I'm going through it quite quickly because I went to all of the games. So then you have, wait, let me solve the cube. It'll probably make things easier. Um, I messed up. All right, you know what? I'm going to stop recording here while I solve the cube and I'll be right back to show you the rest. Okay, so I'm back to the next game mode. We have paint it. I, okay, so yeah, so this is definitely not connected to my phone. Level one, what you want to do is recreate each of these faces, starting with number one. Um, you just tap it to start and then do all the moves. Um, wait, what? Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. Uh, I have no clue what I did there. You just have to try and make each face. Uh, let's do one more because I was. Oh. That's so hard. Alright, ready? Steady? Go. Um. Done. I <laughs> don't really know the point in that. I mean, it's fun. There are some funny pictures, but it's really hard. Uh, Simon Cube. It's a bit like Simon says. So you hold it. it Alright, I need to concentrate. You hold it red facing you and then redo this. And it shows you the colour face you need to do. There, so you just keep doing it and then you have three lives. No, I did it wrong. This one is okay. It get it does get harder. I messed up. Yes. Last one. All right. Okay. Yes, I did it. And I only lost one life. Okay, so that does take up a lot of time. Uh, let's go Cube Hero, the last one. The one that I actually like the least because it's so hard. Oh, okay. Let's try it. Yep. Oh, okay. <laughs> No, oh, I managed to do it. I missed two of them. Um, that was very loud. Let me do one more and just talk through what I am doing. Oh no, I didn't. Oh, I didn't mean to press next level. Uh, okay. All right, it's very hard, and you have to have really good concentration. Okay. No. no, I got that one. What do you mean? No, I missed two. Uh, no, I don't know anymore. Please. This is very hard. What? I hit it. I, no, oh, I don't like this. I don't like this game mode at all. So that's pretty much it for the, oh my goodness. Why? No, stop. Go back. There we go. That's pretty much it for the app, apart from the you can do the Rubik's Solution Guide and the leaderboard. So on my phone, I am actually on the leaderboard, but like very low down. You have Max Park, Felix Endegg, Leo Borromeo. Basically, lots of famous cubers, or pro, like pro cubers at the top. Um, more people. Again, Max is at the top. And then this one, which is based on TPS. Somebody got 14 TPS. How is that even possible? Um, so that's it for the app. I'm going to 
solve this cube and I'll be back with all the specs. Okay, so just before I finish, this puzzle weighs 112 grams and is 57 millimeters. It only comes in stickerless, and from my experience buying from the cubicle, it comes lubricated. It's quite heavy, it's magnetic, and the stickers do kind of scuff quite easily, but replacement sets are pretty cheap. So, I guess that's it for the Rubik's Connected. It's a really awesome puzzle and I recommend you buy it. Now, just before I go, I am not sponsored. This video is not sponsored, but I just wanted to shout out speedcube.org. Uh, I stumbled across their store the other day and I just think they're really cool. I will link their um, website in the description. If you want to buy cubes there and you don't want to go to one of the massive stores where you have to pay quite a lot of money just for anything and they're really good at getting cubes in stock so go and shop there bye bye